The cross hatchback segment in India is one that has seen quite a few entrants in the last few years. The Hyundai i20 Active, Toyota Etios Cross, Honda WRV, Fiat Ventura and the Cross Polo. If anything, even the Renault Quid and the Maruti Suzuki Ignis are hatchbacks inspired by SUV styling. And now Ford has thrown in its hat into the ring with the new Freestyle. And no, it isn't just a Figo with some plastic bits attached. Freestyle, apart from its obvious crossover bits, gets styling changes to differentiate it from the Figo hatch and sedan too. So you now get a new gloss black honeycomb grille, a new front bumper with two distinct plastic bits on either side and the silver painted skid plates. Then the crossover stuff like the plastic cladding around the side and the wheel arches, which house a new set of 15 inch split 4 spoke alloy wheels. At the rear, the same styling theme continues with the silver skid plate and the four vents. The Freestyle also gets some racing stripes along the side and functional roof rails that can take up to 50 kilos. Inside an updated brownish red dashboard with a black lower half made up of better plastics instantly makes the Freestyle more premium than the Figo. Infotainment system has a 6 inch screen, smaller than some of the competition but what it lacks in size it makes up for in resolution and fluidity. Ford Sync 3 infotainment is without a doubt the best on any car under 10 lakh rupees. Apart from Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, it also gets some quirks like a digital compass, perfect when you are literally in the middle of, well, nowhere. A massive dry lake bed, a brand new hatchback, and a whole afternoon of playing around with. This is definitely going to be fun. Traction control off, obviously. Well, the Ford Freestyle isn't just a hopped up hatchback with some plastic claddings added onto it. It's actually a little bit more than that. It does get different suspension and that gives you 190 mm of ground clearance and 190 mm on any hatchback is actually really respectable especially when you consider the fact that there are a lot of broken tarmac roads in the country and well mucking about on the Sambar lake like this is actually quite a lot of fun and you don't have to be worried about hitting something on the bottom. Putting things into perspective the Echo Sport is 200mm of ground clearance so this is just 10mm less than its bigger brother. As we mentioned earlier, the Freestyle gets traction control, a first for any hatchback in this category. It also gets electronic stability control or ESC, active rollover protection or ARP, hill assist and two airbags as standard on all variants with the top spec titanium getting six airbags. So now that we've seen how the Freestyle handles all the rough stuff, it's time to hit tarmac and see how that is handled. Big new change though is actually under the bonnet. Now there is a brand new engine on offer now, a 1.2 litre 3 cylinder non turbocharged naturally aspirated petrol engine. Yes, Ford has stuck to naturally aspirated engines in this era of turbocharged motors. Now this is the same family, the Dragon family of engines that also debuted on the Echo Sport a few months ago. This of course is a smaller engine, makes 95 horsepower, 120 newton meters of torque and it gets mated to a brand new 5-speed gearbox. Overall, it might not be as free revving as some other competitor engines are, but it certainly definitely feels a lot more powerful, feels a lot more grunty and definitely wants to get going, especially in that mid-range. You don't really have to shift down either, put the power down.
It also gets a new 5-speed manual gearbox, which has all gearboxes that Ford makes, and almost all gearboxes that Ford makes, is good to respond to all your touches, shifts well, very nice in terms of shift action on the stick, and just sort of performs really well with this engine package. It is actually a great combination. Strangely though, even though automatics are getting more and more popular with Indian buyers, just like the Honda WRV, Ford will not be offering one on the freestyle anytime soon. There is however a diesel engine on offer on this small crossover, the same 1.5 litre unit that also does duty in the EcoSport. That engine makes 99 bhp of peak power, 215 newton meters of peak torque and has a fuel efficiency rating of 24.4 km per litre. In India, the Ford Freestyle will need to contend primarily with one real rival, the Maruti Suzuki Ignis. And that is because the Etios Cross, the Cross Polo and the Aventura are largely irrelevant and the WRV sits a segment higher. And while Maruti would have had a clean sweep over most cars in the past, with the freestyle, Ford finally has a competitor that is cool and funky enough and that has enough tech to really take it on. The freestyle will be launched later this month and should be priced around the 6 lakh to 7 lakh 50 thousand rupee range. And yes, Ford should consider a well-priced automatic to really take the competition to the market leader.